back on the show. We're talking with our Hog Hoops insider. That is Kevin McPherson from Hogville.net. Kevin, you're busy at work with recruiting, of course, uh, staying on the hop there in terms of what Eric Musselman and the guys are doing. 2021, Trey Alexander, a guard from Oklahoma. 6-5 combo guard. He makes everything go for that Heritage Hall team. They're 6-1. and one. He's averaging over 34 points a game. And he told me today that he does intend to take one of his junior year official visits to Arkansas. Now, he doesn't have a date set for that yet. And he's taken one already to Oklahoma, the home state school. But, you know, Kansas has offered him a lot of big-time programs. He helped uh, Team Griffin 16 and under win that prestigious Nike Peach Jam back in July. Uh, so here's a, a young man that's really not only putting up great numbers, but has been at, uh, playing at a high level against against big time competition Arkansas with Chris Crutchfield the associate coach recruited him when he was uh, at Oklahoma so there's a relationship there uh, but he is interested in getting back to Arkansas he took an unofficial visit in August uh, but he's looking to get back to Arkansas top 35 guy nationally so the Razorbacks would love to get him in for an official visit let's go to the post now Kendall Brown 67 he's a five star out of Kansas yeah, he plays at Sunrise Christian Academy. He's actually from Minnesota. Arkansas coaches have been recruiting him going back to the summer. He got an Arkansas offer in July. Uh, he just picked up an offer from Ohio State, but a lot of, you know, Kansas has offered him uh, a lot of high major programs. And he told me this weekend that he does plan. Uh, he told me in the summer, but he's re repeated it just in the last few days that he wants to visit Arkansas. They're working on a date, so he does plan to come in. Uh, a very versatile 6 7 guy, a top 20 guy nationally. He's a five star. Yeah, another five star. I love the fact that, you know, take it for whatever it's worth in terms of uh, recruiting rankings, how you look into this. But another five-star here, we're talking about Harrison Ingram. He's from Dallas, 6'7". 6-7, St. Mark's down there. He's been putting up triple doubles uh, over some holiday tournaments and just having an outstanding season already. Eric Musman has been down to see him. He took an unofficial visit to Arkansas back in um, August as well, a top 16 guy nationally. But he told me that he's probably going to wait until after the season to take visits, but he does plan to come back to Arkansas and we'll look at an official visit there. But definitely still a mutual interest there between Arkansas and Harrison Ingram. 6-7, Duncan Powell. Now, he is from DeSoto, Texas. He's committed to the hogs how hard is that commitment I think it's a solid commitment. You know, he, he visited Arkansas unofficially back in September. A few weeks later, in late September, he committed. Uh, but he told me that right now, through the tournament season, through the holidays, he's, he's not going to take any visits, but he's looking at coming to Arkansas, back to Arkansas for a visit sometime when their conference play starts. So that's probably January or beyond. Uh, so Duncan Powell, although he's committed, he wants to get back on campus. And again, these 2021 guys, all highly ranked. Duncan Powell's also a four-star. Uh, so Arkansas just wrapped up with some commitments and one side for the 2020 class and now looking ahead at 2021 and beyond as they try to get some of these young men back on campus or to, to campus for the first time for visits. Okay, let's recap the win yesterday for the Hogs and I want to get your take because Alyssa mentioned Mason Jones earlier in the show and Mason had a huge day obviously against Tulsa, but what about the way he did this in a variety of ways scoring the ball? Yeah, I thought, you know, hit the opening, get the three to start the game, kind of got him feeling good. But also, Arkansas got a lot, forced a lot of turnovers. 13 turnovers, but 12 of those were steals. Mason had four, and he converted some of those into transition baskets. But I also like the way that he attacked the basket throughout the game. If you look at it, yeah, he hit five threes, but he was constantly trying to get to the basket. That's the way that you get to the free throw line 13 times. He's one of the best shooters in the country at 94%. He knocked down 12 of those. But I thought when you look at the six rebounds and the four assists, he was just helping Arkansas at both ends of the floor helping himself to 41 points. And if you look at his two career highs now, he set the uh, his uh, first career high, reset it at the begin the first game of the season against Rice. And if you look at it, I don't think it's a coincidence. That was Arkansas's other best offensive game when they scored 91 points in that game. So 41 out of 98 yesterday. I think Mason Jones, when, you, when, those, when the offense is clicking and the shots are going up at its fast pace, I think he thrives in that situation. We've seen it twice now this year. Kevin McPherson from Hogville.net. Thanks very much.